Hey guys, what's up? Dax here, and today we're back with another MotoGP preview. Obviously, the next round of the season comes from Aragon, another Spanish round, and Mark Marquez has pretty much been dominating this year's racing action, but he has had, in the last couple of races at least, Jorge Lorenzo to tackle with in the races, and on both occasions in Great Britain and San Marino, we have seen Jorge Lorenzo get the win, which means... Jorge Lorenzo moves up to second place in the championship and now is starting to close down Mark Marquez. Whether that will continue in Aragon, we are yet to find out. You can let me know in the comment section what you think is going to be happening in this race. But it certainly looks like this title is going to be going down to the wire, especially if Lorenzo starts picking up his pace once again, as we saw at the start of the season. Anyway, last year we're going to see what happened at Aragon. Um, Danny Prodroza actually ended up getting the win, beating Jorge Lorenzo to the line. Obviously, you know, Aragon has got a quite a big straight. It's sort of a circuit of two halves. Basically, the first half of the lap is very technical and very twisty. Then the second half of the lap, you've got a big straight and then the home straight, which are both, you know, high speed. And we all know that the Honda is quite fast in a straight line. Already, we sort of already seen this season that it's, you know, faster than the Yamaha in general over a straight line at least. But um, yeah, Danny Prodrosa won last year from Jorge Lorenzo. Davizioso, Crutchlo, and Ben Spees was your top five last year. Looks like it is a bit of a Honda circuit, but then you can look at the other people, Bautista and Jonathan Ray last year. They didn't exactly do the best. They were, you know, they weren't really in the top five in terms of pace, which was a bit unfortunate for them. But um, it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be a good battle because we'll see. Probably, in my opinion, I think we'll see the first sector. Yamaha do quite well, and the second sector we'll see Honda do quite well, or three sectors. So we'll probably see the middle sector be quite equal, and then the last sector I guess we'll see quite Honda dominated. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see. Danny Pedroza really need to win this weekend, otherwise I'd say pretty much his championship is sort of over. Unfortunate for him, he's you know first year whether he's got a great shot at the championship. Um, well, you know without um, Casey Stoner there. He's got a great shot at the championship, but he's got probably an even better rider there in Mark Marquez who can you know, just pull it out of the bag whenever he needs to and just consistently bring it home when he needs to as well. So it's going to be interesting. Mark Marquez has about a 40-point lead in the championship. I think it's 34 points, if my quick math serves me correctly, over Jorge Lorenzo and Danny Pedroza, which are tied on 219 points. Um, Valentino Rossi probably might bring home another top five finish. And Cal Crutchlow, Stefan Brado, and Bautista will be fighting away for the fifth position, most likely. But who knows? Ducati may come here with a strong bike, but we'll see. It's definitely going to be interesting. And also good to see if Bradley Smith can take the fight once again to Ducati because he um, he's not really in a battle with the Ducatis in the championship. He is in a battle with Alex Espargaro. They're on the same points at the moment. That's going to be an interesting battle to see for the remainder of this year. Who's going to be coming out on top out of Bradley Smith? and a spa grow in the comment section guys out of all this video maybe you could leave a comment who you think is going to win in the little sort of battle here between smith and a spa grow in the comment section and it'll be interesting to see so um yep yeah, very great track here in aragon really interesting um it's going to be great to see what happens this um this time obviously mark marquez didn't get the win in moto 2 so it's going to be interesting to see whether he can take the fight to Danny Pedroza and Lorenzo who were one two last year I'm sure he will and you know pretty much now uh, the Pedroza and Lorenzo really need him to fall off which I really doubt will happen so anyway guys that is pretty much it for this video thank you all for tuning in it's been Axe and I'm out of here goodbye